Okay, so I'm up early because that just happens. So I just kind of want to see about um, a bit of raspberry uh, trellises, if you will. So I was, you know, this thing about people who like build all these trellises and stuff, but I don't want to do that just because of how flexible and convenient it can be to use what you have already in the garden which for me right now is i have this nice fig tree and there's also a blueberry bush that i've been using to support the raspberries now this fig tree hasn't really hardened off yet it's um new so like all of this new growth is really too soft to support the raspberry right now or like fully but it is keeping it off the ground so this is the raspberry i didn't even realize it was fruiting till like three days ago right and it actually well i've been training it kind of through the tree anyway but as the branches are so soft right now it's like really dragging this branch down it's working better in another place and as the tree hardens up and gets bigger this will be um you know a lot more supportive but for now, it's keeping them off the ground and, you know, got easy access to bees and all of that. So, it's doing that. So, I'm just keep what I've been doing. There's some more raspberry bushes. These aren't fruiting, though. So, they, they're actually not that heavy when they don't have any fruit on them. So, they kind of just stand upright for now. And there's another. Oops. <laughs> I just accidentally pulled off a leaf. This one has fruit on it. And there's not any other trees over here right now. Well, there is a, another fig tree. But it's very small. I just put it in the ground. So let's come over here. So we can see the other. So let's see. We got the blue. This blueberry bush needs to be pruned. This is the first, it's first year in here. So, at this point, I'm just lucky it stayed alive because it's been looking roughity rough all summer. So, okay. This other raspberry, I just pulled this off the ground because it was actually growing upright like this most of the time. Like, most of the summer until it started fruiting. Then it got heavy and decided it didn't want to be upright anymore. <laughs> so, I moved it back. Let me step, step, step trying not to get eaten so here are some raspberries this blueberry bush has is very supportive and since the blueberry bush actually fruits early and this raspberry bush is fruiting later you know I can have the blueberry bush fruit and they have like full sun and then have the raspberry fruit and it have full sun. If that makes sense. Because um, like I said, these actually stood upright until the fruit fruiting happened and they started getting heavy. You see the little BB? Hey BB. So these are the crimson knights, which are supposed to be um an ever bearing, double bearing type. So, this is actually my first year getting fruit on these. So, I just put them in in the fall. Here's another cane over here that decided it doesn't want to reach towards um, the blueberry bush. But, as you can see, it hasn't stopped the bees from doing the bee business because it's still got little flowers on it. And the bee is pollinating without issue. And there's already some fruit set. So... And it does have red canes that are so pretty. Yes. So anyways, like I was saying, um, you can use more sturdy bushes to support like your trailing types or trees. And that is that on that. Yes. 